21 feet long and then gently deposit it on its wheels, on the strip. As the rover touches down, it's now told their We have a, a system to deliver the, uh, the soil samples to our, we have about these little tiny cups and they have to get to the oven. So there's a, an automatic mechanism that goes around, perhaps you've seen it outside, the uh, pictures outside with people exhibiting this, the uh, sample manipulation system. We have a laser, a general laser spectrometer. We have gas chromatographs. We also have a lot of heaters. Now, why do we need heaters on all our lines that take the sample as it's burned in the oven and it comes out into our lines. Why do we need that? We have all these lines. We need heaters. I brought one of these heaters, and again, I'll put it there. They're tiny, these heaters, but they're important because Mars is really, really cold, and when we have to make a, a sample uh, heat it up to, to gaseous form, it's very hot, and when you get out, to our lines to carry these gases to our different analysis uh, stations, what happens is if you don't heat up your lines, everything freezes up. So you have a sclerosis, I suppose. Anyhow, um, microphone. Microphone. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm not as a, a pan here was a, an ex opera singer as well, so she can project a lot better than me. The, the heaters provide heating for us, for us so that we can get our samples to the right analysis tools. The other thing that, that we have to deal with, again, you, when you design hardware, you're designing hardware for the environment that you, you, you will see.